The Lord will fight for you. Amen. And you shall hold your peace. Amen. Amen. They used to sing a song. The Lord will fight for you. You know, fight your battles. Amen. We, Amen. Me and my wife, we wrote a song. It's called, <laughs> The Battle is Not Yours. It's the Lord. It is the Lord. Now, bless we, his holy name. Bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He is Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. He is Jehovah Shiloh. He is Jehovah Nisi. Hallelujah. He is our Prince of Peace. Glory. Hallelujah. He is the Lily of our Valley. You know, as Prophet Karn says, uh, he is the butter on our biscuit. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Hey, don't act like you don't know. <laughs> yes, it is. Hallelujah. But um, God is all that and awesome and powerful. Hallelujah. You know, and when we are with, we, we are in the body of Christ, we are covered in the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. We are saturated in the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Can't nothing harm us, honey. Can't nothing harm us. God said that he will be with us forever. He will always be with us. He will never leave us or forsaken us. Hallelujah. As long as we are living to God's standards, God's statutes and his laws. Amen. Amen. Now, see, because we're on the subject, the Lord will fight your battle. Because That's right. Think about, and I know you heard this many times before. Bless God's holy name. But Bless the Lord. Bless you know what? Hallelujah. God has fought. David's battle. Yes, he did. And he fought David's battle against what? Goliath. A giant. <laughs> and then he fought Samson's battle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because he gave Samson the strength of what? 100 men. Mm. His skin was so strong that arrows couldn't even pick, pierce his skin. Mm, mm. So when, I, when you see these movies <laughs> and you see him having scratch marks, that's all I lie. You know what? Relate it right back to the Bible, you know, and go go search the Bible. You know, just like I was I, I was so disappointed in so many of the movies, you know, about you know the Son of God and uh uh what Exodus was it? And Exodus and, and Noah's Ark. Oh, just just you know, I thought it was just a disgrace how they did Noah's Ark, you know, because it did not happen that way. It did not leak or anything. And, you know, he did not put people on, people, other people on the ship that God told him to build. That took him how many years? 120 years. To build. And he took Pacific instructions from God not to put nobody on there, but his family and one of each, um, two of each animals. Two of each animals. He did not say let others in, you know, and, and, and the way that they did it with his son running off and, and things like that, I see that nowhere in the Bible, you know. So, you know, read the book of, I, I believe it's in Genesis. Is it in Genesis? It's Genesis or Exodus 1 or 2. I know it's not in Numbers. I know Genesis is, you know, God said let there be light, there was light. Uh, we know our Bible. We 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 know it. Uh, it's just that you know. That's you know one of the things that we know the whole story by heart. I believe it is in Genesis. But search your Bible. You got the Bible right there. It tells you about Noah's Ark. I believe mm -hmm. it is in in Genesis. But anyhow, you know because um, Adam and Eve is in there. And yeah, that's right. It's 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 in with Adam and Eve. It's right after Adam and Eve, you know. And Adam and Eve, Adam, Adam and Eve is right after that that God created the the uh, the earth. It's in Genesis. Noah's Ark is in Genesis. Amen. Because I remember reading it uh, as a Bible story it's to my Genesis, son. Right? I, I know it's in Genesis because um. You know, I, I'm still in the process of, um, we went past Genesis. I mean, we went past, we're almost done with Genesis with my, with my little, um, uh, little man, with our little man. It's so, in Genesis chapter six. Yeah, we're about to go into, uh, Numbers, I think it is. Um, so anyway, you know, you can't go on movies, you know, um, you need to go straight from God's holy word. You need to go straight from God's holy word to know the truth. Amen. 
Amen. So we got to give back that the Lord will fight your battle. You know how the Lord also fights a Christian's battle today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He can fight your battle physically mm -hmm. as well as spiritually. Mm -hmm. Remember now, how he fights your battle spiritually. The Bible says that after you receive the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. you have what? Power mm -hmm. over mm -hmm. all the power of the enemy. Mm -hmm. That's right. God said. And nothing by any means your harm. And nothing by any means shall That's right. Isaiah 54, right. 5 or what? That's right. I, Isaiah 54, is it? Isaiah 54, 17. No that's, weapon. Yeah, that's no weapons formed against us shall not prosper. It's still got to be a, a battle. Amen. Amen. So that means, you know, the Lord fights for you. There's no weapon formed against your prosper. That means the Lord fights for you. That's right. That's right. And he said, this is the heritage of the servants that are in the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, you know. So we need to know, you need to know, that God said once you are saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Spirit, wait till he endue you with power from on high, Pastor. Therefore, you should have, you will have power over all the enemy, and nothing by any means shall harm you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I just love that. I, I just love that. I love it, you know, and I, I soak into it because, you know, we claim God's holy word, you know. God speaks to us through his word. Amen. When you read your Bible, when you open your Bible, when you read your Bible, that's God speaking to you. Amen. Well, here's another reason why you know the Lord fights your battle. Mm -hmm. God sends his angels. Mm -hmm. And then he also gives you what? Armor. That's right. And God said that those that fear the Lord, God's holy angels camp around those who fear the Lord. Amen. A special favor for the household of faith. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And as of our household, we serve the Lord. We love to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We give praises to his holy name. Our home is a pray is a house of praise and worship unto our heavenly father. Hallelujah. And to our Yahweh, Yeshua, and to our Abba Father. And God said, when you call out Abba Father, he will save you from your enemies. Amen. Amen. He is our very, very, very hiding place. He is our shelter in a time of trouble. Amen. Amen. He is our refuge. Hallelujah. Amen. God is awesome. He is omnipotent. I cannot express to you how good God is, how great and awesome and omnipotent how God is. There's just unexplainable words to tell you, you know, how much, um, uh, how much we adore the Lord, how much God is so much more than our minds can't even have the capacity to hold how great and how good God is. Amen. Hallelujah. We see the signs and the wonders and God does miraculous things. We see them. He allows his people to see them, his saints to see those things. Amen. And we are overcome by his testimony. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. But we remember this, beloved. Daily bread for today is God will fight your battles. In this time, that when your enemies, like it says, um, it does say it in Isaiah, but not Isaiah 17, but it says, I believe, in Isaiah, somewhere around Isaiah 12 or 13 or something like that. When they can't, when they, when they gather together and come against you, it is not of me what the Lord says, but I shall come to your rescue. Read Isaiah 54. Amen. Hallelujah. Do we have time to go into Isaiah 54? Mm -mm. Okay. Isaiah 54. Let's go from 1. Single bearing. Amen. You have not born. Break forth into singing. Cry aloud. Mm -hmm. You who have not labored with child. Now, what you want? Mm -hmm. Come on. 
For more of the children of the desolate than the children of married women, says the Lord. Enlarge the place of your tent. And let them stretch out the curtains of the door. Do not spare. Mm -hmm. Lengthen your cord. Strengthen mm -hmm. for your sake. Mm -hmm. You shall expand the right to the left and the death descendants will inherit the nations and make the death descendants inhabit. Do not fear, for you will not be ashamed. You ever be disgraced, you will be put to shame. Amen. You will, for you will not forget the shame of your youth and remember not the reproach of the widow anymore, for the maker is your husband. Amen. Now hold on there. God said, I will forgive you for the shame of your youth. See, that's part of being washed in the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Amen. Continue, Pastor. Continue. I uh, says, the Lord of hosts is his name. Mm -hmm. And your Amen. Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel, who called the God of the whole earth. Amen. The Lord has called you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a woman forsaken, breathing spirit. Like a youthful wife when you refuse, says the Lord. Mm -hmm. It says, for a moment I have forsaken, but great mercy I will gather you. Amen. Amen. Come on. It says, with a little wrath I hear from my face from a moment. But, but with everlasting while. kindness, I will have mercy on you. Amen. So that's Amen. the Lord your Redeemer. Amen. Amen. And it continues on. Where did you stop at? Verse 8. Okay, come on. It said, For this is like the waters know to me. For I have sworn the waters know will no longer cover the earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That I will not be angry with you nor rebuke you. For mm -hmm. the mount shall depart and mm -hmm. the earth be removed. But my kindness shall not depart from you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And then in Isaiah 54, 17. See, he stopped at Isaiah 54, what? 10. Now you continue on with and, and you go all the way through it. And Isaiah 54, 17, I believe is the last scripture in Isaiah. Mm -hmm. And it says, No weapon for it against you shall prosper. That's right. But wait a minute. Um, I wanted you to get to the part where it says, When they come against you, know that it is not of me. But I will come and save you from them. They will stumble and fall. That I have created the coal to blow us out the fire. I have created the smith to blow us out the fire. Or did you? Do you? Are you seeing that? Amen. I praise the Lord. I didn't bring my Bible with me today. God forgive me. Pardon me for that. But um, uh, Pastor has a, a, a very um, in, intelligent Bible. Very upgraded. It's a pastor's Bible, you know. So um, it's, it's, it's like, bam. You know, it's it, detailed. Very detailed. Very detailed is what I'm trying to say. But, you know, I have the King James Version. He, he is, what are you in? King James, but also, what is your Bible called? The Thompson Chain. Yeah, see, he has that new thing. And, um, you know, so, but anyway, it's the same thing. Um, I stay on with the King James regular version. <laughs> it's more better for me. He's, you know, he's pastor, I'm prophet, but you know what? He And he keeps telling me, you know, he keeps pushing that Bible at me. You all this, this, you know, do this, read this, you know, and I'm like, wow, it's so much information, it's so detailed, it's so strong, and it's so, you know, but anyway, uh, the message for, t hallelujah, the, the message for today is, you know, keep confident in the Lord, and you know what, sometimes you have to speak life over yourself, no matter the situation, speak life over yourself, you know, encourage yourself you know stay encouraged in the lord knowing and trusting and believing and receiving that god is fighting your battles god is fighting everything all things work together for the good of those that love the lord hallelujah and many affliction of the righteous but god promised to deliver them out of them all hallelujah he promises to deliver us out of them all hallelujah so god you know is on our side, you know, so no, no matter who comes against you, you remember, stand fast in prayer, and you come up against them with the blood of the Lamb, amen, glory to God, God said, I lend an ear to the righteous, but I lend an ear to the unrighteous, 
Amen, Pastor? Amen. Amen. Well, that's our time for tonight with Righteous Talk Ministry here with Pastor Martin and Prophet Taisha Martin. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are so always excited to give you uh, the daily bread. Um, for the day, hallelujah, glory to God, straight from God's holy word. We pray that this has been a blessing for you, an enhancement for you, and an encouragement for you as well, and also strengthens you in the body of Christ, amen, hallelujah. So, we thank you, beloved, for tuning in with Righteous Talk, and we pray that you will continue to tune in with Righteous Talk here on this channel uh, with the Martins and um, with the holy word of God, hallelujah. Until then, beloved, Godspeed and shalom unto you.